Hey gamers, it's Winnie here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included with the uh, oil upgrade, which isn't out yet, but yet, but I'm uh, playing the preview. Oh, I just noticed the art has been updated for the sink. This looks cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a uh, looks much nicer than the temp art that they had in there. There might be some other items that have been updated. So last episode I started to build this uh, airlocked area for the chlorine and what I'm thinking of doing is putting my storage in here and also making this the only way in and out of the base uh, from the top and I might do the same thing down here with this chlorine area and force them to go through the chlorine uh, on the way in and out and that should kill some of the germs uh, before and I don't I don't want to get into these slime biomes until uh, I've got that set up. So I think we'll build our storage in here kind of first. Hopefully these four airlocks are enough to keep the chlorine out of the base and uh, keep it all nice. One airlock's not enough, I've noticed. And how's our research doing? We're, we're doing health care at the moment. So let's put some storage in. things up a bit. And I'll probably deconstruct this storage here. Really don't want any storage in the base. So let's put uh for now everything in here except for we don't want polluted dirt. I think everything else is okay at the moment. And we won't make it sweep only because we actually want them to start cleaning up. Copy those settings over and put a ladder up here. So we want to join these two rooms, I guess, get the chlorine. I'm so used to playing uh, Factorio now. I'm used to all the controls and so I'm like clicking, clicking the wrong things. So they'll go about cleaning the base now, which is nice. Food has decayed. And we actually want to get um, the hatches eventually to start eating all our excess materials. Because excess materials sitting on the ground or in storage I discovered cause a lot of lag. I don't know if that's been fixed, but we could even crack in over here and get this chlorine. Once we find a chlorine geyser, we can pump that into our chlorine storage room. Now we might also get some CO2 in here if they exhale. I can uh, dig this out a bit. Yeah, we got some new balm lily. Can harvest all that. We do have new duplicates. Let's see what we got. Caregiver, strength, narcoleptic. I think I'll go with this uh, Ellie. We also want to store our food in this chlorine. So it won't rot. It's considered a sterile environment. Put a few of those in there. And we're not going to power them. We don't need to if they're sitting in chlorine. And we'll probably build another floor here for storage. If some... Oh, it looks like their immune system takes a while to kick in initially. Let's get some more research going here. Just kind of working my way down the line. I wonder if we'll get some CO2 in here. It's okay, because CO2 is considered sterile as well. I like how there's no germs up here, so we can get into this nice algae without any issues. Put in some more airflow tile. 
do have some carbon dioxide building up here. Eventually we're going to need more water, so I'll probably crack into this. But I don't want it to burst, so we'll let that oxalate kind of use itself up too. Oh, unreachable bed. Oh, look what I've done. <laughs> uh, and they're all like stuck in CO2 there. That's not good. Um, red alert. So we want, <laughs> we want some priority nine digging there, and they should be able to get out now. I think. I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, they got out. Back to sleep. Looking good. Should actually probably put airflow tile all the way down. Eventually my grow rooms are probably going to be in a different place. But for now, I think it's okay. In my last base, I uh, built pressurized CO2 rooms. I took the CO2 that I waste CO2 I had, cooled it down a bit, and stuck it in the grow rooms. That kept the mealwood at the perfect kind of growing conditions. I don't bother with any of the other food because mealwood just works so well. It's not complicated, um, easy to grow, doesn't require inputs like any water or fertilizer. I don't like pinch pepper nut because eventually you run out of phosphorite, which it requires. And sleet wheat requires kind of, it's kind of finicky. And the cooking station was overheating, so I just stuck with mealwood. That may change sometime, but let's trap this little bug in here if we can. Shine bug. Now, cooking ingredients. Do we want pinch pepper nuts in there? Uh, that's fine. Put in even more food. Can't have too much food. More research. Let's do clothing. But this hatch is stuck up here, so maybe we'll put storage container up here. And put all the obsidian in it. So we don't really use obsidian for anything. We'll set it priority eight. That'll get all the obsidian in there. And then we'll destroy this and let the hatch turn it all into coal so we can burn it. Get some polluted oxygen in here. Something's rotten, so we want to get in there and deal with that. Might as well use this symmetrical ladder that we have. So yeah, we got CO2 building up down the bottom right, but that's okay. Don't need to go there that often. I'm in screenshot mode, which is, you can get to it just doing Alt S. Okay, almost done the research. Animal control, that's new, so we can use traps. And when I tested our traps, we were successfully able to trap the hatches, but then when we released them to the, or put them in the collection point, they disappeared. So they weren't kind of, they weren't quite working. Now we do have deodorizers now. I'm gonna put one right here because some polluted oxygen might sneak out in here because we've got some rotten food in here. Just want to dig all this out though. And we can deconstruct this outhouse. Don't need it anymore. Look at those nice sinks. I like it. Another dupe. Okay, what do we got? 
Quick learner, strength. I like this one. I like bodybuilders. Strength is one of those stats you can't level up. I love all these shine bugs in our base. Look at them all. Good for decor. I should have put all the fridges kind of on the outside because they need to get to them more often. That's okay. Oh, so we have eight now. We need another bedroom. Oh crap. Oh crap. Look at this. <laughs> oh no. Don't die. Don't die. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, the sand. Dangers of sand. What's going on here? It looks weird. <laughs> I think there's a hatch in there somewhere. How's oxygen looking? Uh, not too bad. So bedroom, bedroom. I think I'll put the bedroom right here, maybe. I'm a big fan of using uh, using what using what's there. So you got an ice biome, just kind of use it. If you've got a a chlorine area, just use it. Instead of making one, just uh, use what you have. And until you need to actually build something. Now the uh, polluted oxygen cleaners, where you uh, cool it down and liquefy it. Those are really cool, but there's a lot of work involved in building them. But when you have a perfectly good uh, filter and basically endless sand, so much sand you would hardly, you probably wouldn't run out of it unless you went to like 5,000 cycles. It's much easier to build this to clean polluted oxygen than it is to build a liquid oxygen setup. I get that it's super fun and I've tried it. And I built some, and they're they're neat, but kind of overkill. Probably put one algae terrarium kind of down in this bottom right-hand corner. Uses water, quite a bit of water, but we want to keep the CO2 at bay a little bit. But eventually, we want to feed the CO2 to uh, slicksters, the new little beasties that are way down on the map. Oh yeah, beds. We need beds in our bedroom. Get some nice decor going. Free stress relief. Gonna put an algae terrarium down here as well. Going to chew through the CO2. So the idea here, down here, is this airlock chlorine room. This will be the only way I let them out of the base and in, into the base from the bottom. That way they'll go through it. all this chlorine, germs should die. And I'll probably put a hand washing station right here as well, just for added extra measure. Or a sink. Uh, I think I'll just use a wash basin for now. Keep it simple. I'm still going to avoid the slime lung areas until we really need to hit them. Another thing you can do is kind of merge a chlorine area with a, a stinky, dirty area, and it'll just kill all the uh, kill all the slime lung we're fine for food at the moment 85,000 I really like how in early game there's not so much for them to do that they can actually clean and actually you don't have to set priority 9 to get stuff done they just they just have time to do it So 
Their storage is full. Put some more along here, maybe in the back. Actually, it should be fine here. Oh, we got oxygen in here. Our airlock's not working perfectly. Yeah, we got clo we got oxygen in here. Uh, that's not good. We don't like that. It means our food will rot. Could try to tie into this chlorine here or down here, and let this bleach stone kind of bathe this area. Now the oxygen should actually flow to the top. I put some airflow tiles in here. And kind of carve this out. We can replant those bomb lilies later. Oh, environmental protection. That's the exosuits. That allows us to go into some areas down deep. That'll be cool. Have to experiment with those. Can also put some showers in. Can put those right above here. Clean water in, polluted water out. This will probably get our polluted water filling up a bit faster, but that's okay. We do have 56 tons of sand. We could even filter that water. And last time I filtered water, it actually cleaned the germs out. But I don't know if that's still the case. So I'm actually going to dump the clean water from this filter right in here. I think it's okay. I just want to see if it will eventually clean itself up. But I realize we probably want a sink here. In case they go into this area and get dirty. Put a wash basin here. Last piece of research, I think. Home luxuries. Plastic ladder, comfy bed, plastic tile. Oh, they're all grimy. Actually, they're not all grimy. Oh, the showers are hooked up already. I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's why they're clean. Oh, we got polluted oxygen up here. It's probably coming in from over here. So let's get a deodorizer. Right here. Don't want, don't want any of that nasty stuff in here. I'm surprised they don't get germified when they step in this polluted water. It's good, I'm not complaining, but... So, a mess hall is still a mess hall if the door is open. So we can save a lot of time if we open these doors. Something I just learned. So I guess they still get the bonus. And I just noticed there's an exosuit overlay. Displays fully enclosed rooms. That's new. So research is done. Look at that. So we will deconstruct this. Deconstruct this, clean up some space. Rid of those wires too. So yeah, we got germs in the water. Maybe that's, but it's going down. Because germs in pure water slowly die. So if you look under germs, Dying on liquid, 3% per cycle. So 
we, if we only put pure water in here, it should clean itself out. Start exploring this way. This is all very safe to go in here because there's no no germs. Don't actually need to do all the top row. It's oxygen in the top here. But the CO, the chlorine is falling to the bottom, which is perfect. That's what we wanted. Exosuit forge. Let's make an exosuit forge. Stick it over here for now. Requires uh, a lot of power. Four hundred eighty watts power. Makes an Atmo suit. I can't remember what it needs in terms of materials. Probably plastic, but I'm not sure. Immune 100, stress 1, that's what we love to see. It's good. It's perfect. Okay, let's see. Atmo suit. Oh, yeah, reed fiber and copper ore. Okay. So good reason to use iron on things that don't necessarily need copper. Uh, we need some reed fiber. There is one in here, thimble reed. It's kind of nasty in here, but it's puffed. But we could dig up and make an airlock. Sneak in there. I think I might do that. But I think I'll do it in the next episode because this episode's getting a bit long. So I hope you're enjoying the new oil upgrade, even though it's not out yet. And the new base. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.